On Tuesday, November 12th at 7 p.m., the number three seeded men's soccer team, who's 8 8 and 1, will host the number six seed Colgate in Patriot League quarterfinals. The team's current 6 and 3 conference record is their most wins since 2001 in the league when they also won six games. The Patriot League tournament appearance is the team's first since 2008. The team is looking to use their home field to an advantage. Senior captain Dane Kenny, who has scored two goals this season, tallied one assist, and has been a key part of the Crusader defense, notes that having the support of the crowd will be great during the Crusaders' effort to win against Colgate. With a win, the team will move on to face Army in the semifinals this weekend in Annapolis, Maryland, and continue towards their goal of becoming Patriot League champions. We're very excited. Um... It's been the first time since 2008 since we made the playoffs, and to be a home game is awesome. So hope we get a good crowd out here, get a win on Tuesday, and then advance uh, into next weekend. Earlier this season, Holy Cross faced Colgate in Hamilton, New York, as the Crusaders defeated the Raiders in an overtime victory when Josh Sintas scored the game winner. Colgate fared to be a very competitive opponent during the game on October 19th and will likely come out just as strong again this time. The Raiders have a talented group of players, which include freshman Zach Pagani and Ethan Cutler and junior Evan Haru, who was named second team All-Patriot League and who scored one of his goals against Holy Cross last time the teams met. All three players currently lead the team in points with six apiece. Senior midfielder Nick Arpey has also been a key player for the Raiders this season and was named third team All-Patriot League for his performance. Holy Cross head coach Marco Kuhlman knows Colgate is going to be a tough competitor, but feels his team is prepared to come out with a win like they did in a hard-fought match last time these two teams faced. Colgate is a typical um, Patriot League opponent who um, brings a lot of energy, physicality, athleticism, um, you know, and we've experienced that all year long. So besides um, our non-conference schedule, which prepared us well for the P uh, Patriot League, you know, we've... Uh, We've faced plenty of these opponents. They, again, they have experience. Um, they've been here a number of times, so they know exactly what uh, what it takes. But uh, leading up to this and playing them at their place the last time around, again, it was a typical Patriot League game that was uh, that brought all the attributes that uh, you know a conference game would bring. And uh, this will only multiply once we get into the into the tournament. So. Um, It'll be an interesting match. Senior captain Monty Sanders, who has four goals, five assists, and a team leading 13 points this season, agrees and believes the team is well prepared for the game. The balance of the Crusaders' schedule, combining physical teams with tactical teams, has exposed Holy Cross to different types of play and has given them the experience needed to go up against Patriot League teams like Colgate. We've got a very, very important match um, for a quarterfinal Patriot League tournament game. Um, our games thus far have really prepared us as a team, you know, mixing a lot of uh, very physical teams versus very soccer-oriented teams and uh, really looking forward to uh, hopefully having a big crowd out there and playing some really good soccer and hopefully getting that win for Holy Cross. Kuhlman credits much of the team's success this season to the character and skill of the 2013 senior class. The class includes Captain Dane Kenny, Captain and 2013 First Team All-Patriot League selection Monty Sanders, 2013 Second Team All-Patriot League selection Josh Sintas, and 2013 Third Team All-Patriot League selection Tommy Utaro. These players have been a key component of the team, utilizing the coach's goal-oriented strategy and their talent to not only bring success to the team, but to bring up the level of play of the younger players like sophomore Luke Melody. Melody earned league recognition as well this season, being named Third Team All-Patriot League. Through increasing the team's overall performance, the seniors have contributed significantly to victories over eight opponents thus far. They will be a huge part in looking to defeat Colgate. The season in general, I think it's a, it's a combination of how we prepare the team in preseason and uh, to get a proper mindset, you know, based on last year's experience with this group. Um, you know, the senior class has done a tremendous job really picking up on what we believe is, is important. Um, a, our own philosophy, the way and the style that we play, we have to combine that with what the opponents throw at us from a standpoint of, again, the athleticism, the physicality, um, and the energy. And, um, you know, we have to outwork them, uh, and they've certainly, you know, learned how to do that. Um, mentally, they've been much better prepared and focused on the task at hand, um, you know, and our, our, our goals from week to week and longer-term goals have really helped us you know, leading up to this uh, Patriot League um, conference tournament. And, um, you know, collectively, the, the senior class has really brought the younger players along. Um, and 
I think as a staff we've become we've been more specific and uh, in what we wanted out of players individually and what we wanted out of the group um, the starting 11 as well as the players coming off the bench so um, this has been a, a you know a preparation where 27 players have contributed and led us so far. With the quarterfinals approaching, the men's soccer team feels more prepared than ever to take on Colgate so that they can continue to the semifinals this weekend. After a long season of dedication and hard work, the Crusaders are looking to continue their season with a win. Come support the men's soccer team on Tuesday, November 12th at 7 p.m. as they take on Colgate in the Patriot League quarterfinals. Reporting for GoHolyCross.com, I'm Carly Gramata.